Hey, it's Kevin Tulfo with JK on the Run, and in today's Mobile Tech Minutes, we're going to talk about Mobile Linux, or Moblin, which is actually an Intel-sponsored uh, open source platform for what Intel wants on their mids. Now, it's interesting because Intel is obviously a hardware company by and large, although they do have, uh, have had some efforts in software, and this is one of them. Now, Moblin is actually the software complement to Intel's Atom hardware. Basically, they're developing this Mobile Linux for the Intel Atom platform. And what's interesting, we reported this earlier this week, is that they've actually shifted their focus. They have a Moblin version for netbooks out right now, and the Moblin version for mids won't be out till 2010 at this point. It seems like there's not a lot of traction there because smartphones are becoming a little more full-featured. I think mids and smartphones are really going to blend as a category, uh, but we'll have to see. And there could still be a niche there that it may fit in, at least the mids. We'll see. Regardless, most people won't go out and do what I do, and that is go and get the alpha version of an operating system. But I've done just that. I've got it right here on my MSI Win, and I'm running it from a CD drive. You can do it just like you do a live CD uh, or a USB drive uh, with with Ubuntu or something, some other distribution of Linux. So let's take a look at this. It's kind of bare bones, but at least you'll get a, a view of what it looks like without having to go and download the small bit of software and try it on your netbook. Okay, I'm running Moblin on the MSI Wind. I'm actually running it off of a CD. Because this is so small right now, you don't even need to put this on a DVD drive, which, or a DVD rather. So that is very nice. And I've already got it booted up, obviously. And you'll see this looks pretty familiar. Uh, you've got a menu system on the left, down at my bottom panel here, and your basic desktop. It's going to look familiar to a lot of people. You know, here's a terminal window. What I want to do is um, I want to show you a couple things really quickly. Um, for starters, this does not support the touchpad nor wireless networking yet, so I have it hardwired and I have a mouse attached to it. But I just want to show you that you've got the Minefield browser, which is Mozilla based. Let me maximize that. And I've already had these, not preloaded, but I had saved these. Uh, so I was looking at JK on the Run today to see how it looks, and of course it looks no different than any any other Mozilla browser. And what I really like is I'm gonna I'm gonna open up two windows here, and I want to show you something as I resize real quick. Notice that when I resize or take any action on the window, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the window behind it. It actually becomes transparent as I move. I really like that do the same thing here maybe you can kind of see it there you can see the shadow of the window underneath very nice I also like these little shade buttons where I can maximize space by saying you know what roll up the window don't close it or anything like that it's right here but it's been rolled up like a window shade so now I can focus on my other applications especially useful on a netbook when you've got a small screen very cool let's unshade that also, another good use of screen space is the way you can customize the panels, and that's what they're calling this here as a panel. Um, right now, I can I can move it to the top. I can let's get it to a uh, not full width but normal width, kind of like a dock as it expands as you add more things. I can move it here, here, wherever I want. So the nice thing is I can actually add a new panel, and I'll drag one up oh, up here, and we will make it freely movable. We can change the transparency of it. Uh, we can add items to it. Let's add something. It doesn't really matter what. Add a new item. So maybe I want to put some utilities in that panel that I use often. We'll put the file explorer or places. Let's set the quick launcher. And now I have another panel up here where I can have utilities. Of course I can auto hide this as well. I can auto hide the panel down here. Let me go down here and let's let's do that. Customize the panel and say auto hide. So there it is. It's gone. So there's plenty of ways that you can maximize your screen real estate with this build so far. And I know you can do that in other versions of Linux as well. But it's nice to see that Intel has not lost sight of these machines with small screens. So. Anyway, there's not much more here to show because in the accessories I've got a mouse pad, which is nothing more than a little simple notepad. Here, let's close this to give us a better view. 
Uh, my accessories, as, as I've covered already, there's only one thing. The multimedia, I have a movie player. I haven't tried it yet. I, in the office folder, I've got contacts, dates, and tasks. Uh, other, I've got my web browser and then system settings and so on and so forth. So obviously, there's not much here yet. I have not tried to install anything. But then again, I also am running this off a live CD, so I probably wouldn't do it that way. Uh, let's go into system and add remove software would be your standard way to install packages and things in Linux. You can hear my CD drive running probably as it's calling the new program. So so I can go out and add new software. In any case, there's not much here yet. Probably not worth your time and effort to download just yet, unless you're really curious like me. And uh, I'd be curious to see how this goes. So this is Intel's Moblin for Netbooks Alpha Edition. We bring the alpha to you so you don't have to. <laughs> have a good one.